What's going on guys? Charlie Watson here with Beachmont Ford Performance. I'm here with Terry Beefcake Reeves. And today we're gonna talk about the new Roush 2650 Supercharger. We're really excited. We've been waiting on this. We've got a bunch of cars in line for build. Uh, now this is uh, replacing the outdated TBS 2300 Supercharger. Um, so we got Terry here. He's gonna go over some of the differences and some of the benefits of the new 2650. I get to talk, that's awesome. Yeah, I know you get nervous, <laughs> but I think you'll make it. All right, so <laughs> 2650 rotor geometry has better sealing. Um, you actually have 170 degrees of twist where you only had 160 degrees of twist on the previous generation model. The casing's all custom, all aluminum. It's got a high efficiency intercooler in it. You do get upgraded fuel injectors, uh, Ford Performance 47 pound injectors. Three year, 36,000 mile warranty is included at no charge. The new blower is actually gonna be a 700 horsepower on the 2018 car. So right starting from the phase one, you're gonna get about a 30 horsepower upgrade. Uh, I think that's gonna mate real nice with the uh, upgraded MT82 and the new 10-speed automatic, which I actually have one myself, and it's a phenomenal transmission. Calibration is actually 491 octane, so uh, we don't know exactly till we get it on a dyno, but I have a feeling if you're running 93, you may even get a little bit more uh, horsepower out of it. Don't quote me on that, but <laughs> they, the cards do have built-in wideband sensors, so they will adjust timing based on fuel quality. They're, they are always quoting, just to be safe, around 10 to 12% loss, which industry, what do you say? industry standard what 17 percent somewhere 18 percent yes yes so if you're at 10 to 12 this this kit may actually be producing on an industry standard level more than 700 horsepower so just like he said we're not going to know until we get this thing on the dyno and have some fun but i gotta tell you i'm excited